اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحلل اقتتا من لسانی افقہو قولی دعوت ان تبلیغ ایٹیکٹ ان ڈیڈز حدیث دو پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم حدیفہ رضی اللہ عنہ نریت I heard Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, He who separates from jamaat and degrades the authority of the Amir will meet Allah having no status in his eyes. He who separates from the jamaat and degrades the authority of the Amir will meet Allah having no status in his meaning Allah's eyes. Mustad Ahmad Majma'ud Zabai Anas رضی اللہ عنہ narrates that رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم said Verily, Allah will ask every guardian for the things under his custody whether he cared for them or neglected them Verily, Allah will ask every guardian for the things under his custody whether he cared for them or neglected them Ibn Hibban Abdullah ibn Umar رضی اللہ عنہما narrates I heard Rasulullah صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم saying Every one of you is responsible and every one of you is accountable for those under you A ruler is responsible and will be accountable for his subjects A man is responsible for his family members and will be accountable for them A woman is responsible for her husband's house, meaning his children, etc. And she'll be accountable for them. A servant is responsible for the wealth of his master and will be accountable for it. A son is responsible for his father's wealth and will be accountable for it. Every one of you is responsible and will be accountable for whatever is placed under his custody. Bukhari Abdullah ibn Umar رضی اللہ عنہما narrates that Nabi صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم said Any person who is appointed a ruler by Allah tabarak wa ta'ala over his subjects whether small or big in number Allah tabarak wa ta'ala will question him about them on the day of resurrection whether he established in them the commands of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala or neglected them so much so that he would be questioned about his family members in particular. Musnad Ahmad Abu Dhar radiallahu anhu narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O Abu Dhar, I see that you are weak and I like for you what I like for myself. Do not be amir even of two persons and do not accept the responsibility of an orphan's wealth. Muslim Note What Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam impressed upon Abu Dhar was that if he were weak like Abu Dhar he would not become Amir even over two persons. Abu Dhar radiallahu anhu narrates that I said O Rasulullah why do you not appoint me as a governor? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam patted me on my shoulder and said Abu Dhar you are weak and this is a trust and this will be a cause of humiliation and regret on the day of resurrection except for a person who takes it as it ought to be taken and fulfills his obligations Muslim Abdul Rahman ibn Samura radiallahu anhu narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him O Abdul Rahman ibn Samura do not ask to be an Amir for if you are made that as a result of your asking for it you will be left to deal with it yourself and if you are made Amir without aspiring for it you will be helped in undertaking it Bukhari Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu narrates that Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said a time is coming when you will aspire for authority meaning becoming Amir but it will be a cause of regret on the day of resurrection how good is she, is she 
who breastfeeds and how bad is she who stops breastfeeding bukhari note the sentence of this hadith means that when somebody assumes public office it appears to be very dear like a breastfeeding woman to an infant and when one loses public position and authority this causes distress just as an infant feels distressed when breastfeeding is stopped for him of ibn malik radiyallahu anhu narrates that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if you wish i shall inform you what is the reality of imara meaning governing i loudly asked three times what is it o rasulullah he said the first is criticism the second is regret and the third is the punishment on the day of resurrection except he who dispenses justice and how can one dispense justice in respect of one's relatives tabrani majma us zawai note this means that one who becomes an amir meaning ruler or a governor is first criticized and admonished from every quarter that he has done this wrong and done that wrong etc next due to this reproach he becomes regretful and says why did i accept this responsibility becoming a ruler etc then in the last stage if justice is not dispensed there will be punishment on the day of reckoning so this turns out to be a cause of disgrace and humiliation in this world and of tough accountability in the hereafter ibn abbas radiyallahu anhuma narrates that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if anyone makes someone amir of a jamaat meaning a group and there is a man in that jamaat more pleasing to allah he is guilty of breach of trust to allah breach of trust to his messenger and a breach of trust to the believers mustadrak hakim note in the presence of a better better one if some other is made amir due to certain religious considerations then this will not be included to this warning as at one occasion rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam sent a delegation in which he appointed abdullah ibn jahsh radiyallahu anhu as amir and said to them he is not superior amongst you but possesses more patience in withstanding hunger and thirst musnad ahmad سبحان الله وبحمده سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك سبحانك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين برحمتك يا ارحم الراحمين لا اله الا الله محمد رسول الله